Good morning, Math 2. This is Lesson 123. Today we're going to learn how to tell time to the quarter hour. So you can see that I've drawn a big clock face on the board, and I have the demonstration clock, and then in a little bit you'll need Master 123, but we will leave that for right now. So I'm going to first draw a vertical line on my clock, to divide it in half. Remember, vertical is up and down. Now, I'm going to divide it into fourths. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line across my clock. Since we are talking about quarter to the hour and quarter past the hour, and telling time in 15 minute increments, here are some important numbers we need. Three is an important number, six, and nine. Now, the reason that they would say that it is quarter past an hour or quarter to an hour is that the clock is divided into four sections. Think about it as there are four quarters in a dollar and it's another way to say one-fourth, but we don't say that it's one-fourth past a time. We always say it's a quarter past or a quarter to. So, I'm going to use the demonstration clock to walk us through this. So, you can see on my clock that I have it at 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to write that up at the top of my board to show that we're at 8 o'clock. There we go. That was difficult to do with one hand. Now, where is the minute hand pointing? Now, the minute hand is at the 12. We call it the minute hand because it moves every minute. Hey, the hour hand is pointing to the 8. That means that it takes a whole hour for the hour hand to move around the clock face and move to the next number. So the next number in this case would be 9. So watch very carefully while I move the minute hand. See what it's doing and then also watch what the hour hand is doing. So I've moved it to one of our important numbers, to the 3. What time is that? You would tell me that it's 3 fifth, or pardon me, 8, 8 15. So I'm going to write that on the clock. Now, that's often how we speak because a lot of our watches and clocks show digital time, but you will hear, hear people say it's quarter past 8. And you'll also hear them say that it's quarter after eight. And we're using eight because that's the time on our clock. What happened with the hour hand? It's not exactly on the eight anymore. It is moved a little bit closer to the nine. Hey. Next up, I'm going to stop at the 6. Watch carefully what the hour hand and the minute hand are doing. What time is that? I hope that you said 8.30. Another way that we would say that is half past eight. The reason that we would say half past eight is because 
the minute hand has gone halfway past the 8 on its way to 9 o'clock. So it's gone through this quarter, and it's gone through this quarter. Now we're going to move to the 9. Did you notice what happened to the hour hand? I almost forgot to ask you. Look at that. It's halfway between the 8 and the 9. Pay attention to what is going to what's going to happen to it when I move it to the 9. Oh, look at that. It's gotten much closer to the 9. What time would you call that? I am sure most of you have told me 845. But I am sure that you've heard your parents or your grandparents say quarter to nine. Or some people will say quarter of nine. I'm smudging our clock. All right, now it's time for us to practice with your master. So could you get that out with a pencil, please? I'm going to leave this clock up here because it will be helpful to you. So here's box one. Could you write the digital time, please, for what's shown on this clock? I hope that you wrote 7 o'clock. I'm going to change what I have written up here to 7. And then you have a line underneath it. That means that you need to write 7 o'clock. I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to write it above. Oh, no, I can fit it in here. So we have to use words. So there's 7. And then o'clock is like this. There's an apostrophe in there. This means 7 of the clock. But we say o'clock. Hey, okay, when you're ready, look at box 2. What digital time are you going to write in box 2? I'm going to change the time over here. I'm changing this to 7.15. That means that those two lines underneath the digital time, we have to use words to write the time. So on one line, you're going to write quarter past 7. And on the other line, you're going to write quarter after 7. If you need a little extra time, pause the video so that you can get it written down. Okay, next up, box 3. You know this digital time. It would be 7.30. Remember, I'm just changing all of my numbers so that you can see the right answer. On the line underneath the digital time, you're going to write half past seven. Okay, last one. I hope you've noticed that they've been going around the clock face just like we did with our example. What digital time are you writing for box four? I hope you're writing 7.45. That also means that we have two lines to fill in. 
So it's going to be quarter two, seven. Ooh, let me write this so I don't smudge things. And quarter of seven. All right, that's the first side. Once you get that done, turn over to the B side. I'm going to erase all of this. While you're waiting for me to do that, you can write the digital time for box five. All right. I hope for box five, you have written, ooh, that was a tough marker, 515. Okay, hey, there are two lines underneath the digital time box. So you need to write quarter past five. and quarter after five. Okay, that was box five. Take a look at box six. Write your digital time. That looks like 9.15. I hope you agree. And then we're going to write the same thing. We're going to write quarter past 9 and quarter past or quarter after 9. So I'll write those two. Quarter past 9. and quarter after nine. All right, box seven. What digital time are you going to write? I hope that you're writing five forty-five. Because remember, it's not 6 o'clock yet. Look at where the hour hand is. So after 5.45, we have two lines to fill in. We're going to write quarter to, it's not going to be 5, quarter to 6. And quarter of 6. Last one, box eight. Write your digital time. That's well past my bedtime. 9.45. And then we're going to write the same thing, quarter two and quarter of. Quarter two. Remember, it's almost another hour, so it's quarter to 10. And then quarter of 10. That was a sloppy O, let me fix that. Thank you for joining me for math today. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.